Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. Welcome to the fam. If you are new, please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here hanging out, having a good time. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies but goodies. So you guys, I'm so excited. NYX, NYX, NYX just released these. This is Juice Lip Glosses in eight shades. I have all eight shades here and I'm so excited to lip swatch them for you guys in studio lighting and in, oh my God, I'm spitting in studio lighting and in sunlight so you guys can see the beautiful tones let's hope that these are if you are new i always do this i do both lighting so you have different options and really see the true color so i'm starting off with absolutely nothing on my lips they look a little bit dry but it's really really cold here in la i mean for us it is like anything under 70 that's cold to me it's like about 65 that's freezing so lips look a little bit dry hands are dry too so i never ever wear any other products when i'm lip swatching so you can really see the real deal so this is how the lip gloss looks it's pretty big it's a 0.33 ounce bottle so let's open her up the back has the name oh this is cute this reminds me of like the old school mac lip gloss remember that one you know what i'm talking about okay with the cute little doe foot ah oh it smells like coconut but not too potent Oh, it's Coconut Chill, that's the name. So let's just get started. I do the lip swatches first, and then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you all about it, how they look, how they smell, how they feel, how much they cost, and all that jazz. Let me show you the order we're gonna go in on my phone, and then let's get started. All right, fam, this is the order we're gonna go in, kind of lightest to darkest. It's kind of hard to tell, you know, because they're kind of clear. But look how pretty these are. They're pretty big too, huh? First one up is Coconut Chill. Next one up is Watermelon Sugar. This is Watermelon Sugar. Next one up is number three, Strawberry Flex. This is the shade Strawberry Flex. Guava Snap. This is the shape Guava Snap. Next one up is Pomegranate Clout. This is the shade Pomegranate Clout. And in daylight, this is Pomegranate Clout. All right, switched up the order with this one. This is number six, Passion Fruit Snatch. This is Passion Fruit Snatch. And in daylight, this is Passion Fruit. Next 
one up is number seven, Blueberry Mood. Blueberry Moon. And in daylight, this is Blueberry Moon. Last, but certainly not least, is number eight, Kiwi Kick. This is the last and final lip swatch using NYX brand new This Is Juice Gloss. Let's start with packaging. Packaging A+. I love the vibrant colors, number one. So beautiful. It's just, it like stands out, you know? I like the long tube. I love the Dofa applicator that it's also long and it's thin. See how thin it is? It just gets your lips very, very well, coats them very well. I just love the length of it. And the tube, I like that it's thin. It will fit in your purse easily. I carry a very small purse, so a lot doesn't fit. So I appreciate when things are not too bulky, especially a lip gloss. You know, with lip gloss, it's kind of like you have to reapply often, or it's just one of those, like give your lips some hydration. And these are very, very hydrating. So let me give you some info about them. These retail for $8 on NYX website and on Ulta. Wow, so these are infused with electrolytes, just like the primer that I reviewed not so long ago. And it has magnesium, zinc, and potassium sorbate. These are lip loving oils with rosa canina oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, and squalene. I can definitely feel the hydration on the lips, especially doing lip swatches with eight shades. If you constantly remove anything on your lips, your lips will become dry. That's just how the process is. Anytime I placed a color on, it just rejuvenated my lips. My lips felt plump. They felt super, super soft and they look soft. They don't look like how we started off. You know how they were looking a little dry? And it also gives you this plumped look and it really pulls your natural shade of your lip. I thought that was very different because when I swatched the clear one, I just saw like you can see more of the pink and red shades of my natural lip color with the lip glosses. I love these shades right here. These like the rosy shades, the red shades really just made your lips look super, super juicy. And they all do have the scent of the name. So for example, this is pomegranate clout. It smells like pomegranate, like legit. They all have that fruity smell. They remind me of Jolly Ranchers. You know how each flavor has their own scent? That's exactly how it is. It's not too strong where it just overtakes because I hate very strong scented anything. I, I'm just really sensitive to scents. But these, you just apply it on, you kind of smell it, and then it goes away. Like I can't smell it right now. So that's really, really nice because super scented shit, I don't like. Mm -mm. And they do have a very high shine. They feel like a in-between of lip gloss and lip oil as they describe. They're not sticky at all. The tube reminds me of Max OG lip gloss. Those lip glosses back in the day were thick and they would, you would like talk and then it slimed, you know? <laughs> so it's probably because it's this squeezy tube. Nowadays, like glosses don't come like this how they used to. But anyway, <laughs> it just reminded me of that. These two are just kind of random because they are pigmented in the sense you will get a blue shade and a green shade on your lip, especially the blue shade. It made me look like I was cold. You know when you're cold and your lip, lips kind of get that blue tint? This is how I was feeling. I'm like, I'm trying to look juicy, plump with some vibrant color, not make me look super cold, you know? They're only $8, so that's kind of surprising because NYX is a little bit more on the pricier side at the drugstore. You guys know, for me, anything under $10 is drugstore price appropriate. Anything over, you know, we have to think about it. Like, is it worth it, you know? 
I have an itch. These would pair so well with a lip liner if you just lip line your lips lightly and just add a tinted lip oil or lip gloss. Ugh, your lips will look so pretty because the lip liner helps you shape your lips, especially if you're like me, I don't have a huge cupid's bow, so I need lip liner all day long. But do you need all of them? I don't think so. It would just depend on what flavor because they smell really good or what color and what you look for when it comes to lip gloss. When I wear a lip gloss, I just want my lips to look a little bit glossy and have a little bit of a tint. I don't want it to do too much. You know what I mean? And I like that these go on lightly like that first layer even if you put a lot it just doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel goopy and it glides onto your lips very nice and then waiting a while maybe about a minute or two the gloss and the high shine really shines through and they did what i was expecting them to do just give us a little bit of tint a little bit of juiciness a little bit of plump and they're very hydrating girl we need hydration especially it's the winter time so and of course like most glosses they're transferable so yeah you see you see that hydration there though? Dang! I think this is it guys. Let me know your thoughts on these. Have you seen them? Have you picked them up? They are available on Ulta's website and I actually bought a couple of them in stores and they are available at NYX's website. I'm sure they're gonna branch out to other stores. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please let me know your thoughts on these. You guys know we're always chit-chatting in the comments and I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!